So here we are. And we're finally going to put this unit to rest, I hope, because it's been an eventful week for Woad of Players. First, AP got announced that, you know, we were going to get uh, the last week-ish. But, you know, first JP got announced Halloween Lucia was coming and that she was going to be, you know, a 70 cost dark unit, which themed with some status effects and whatnot. And everybody was like, great. And then she came out and everyone was like, cool. And then people figured out something that was going on and stuff happened. Yeah. Uh, at the time of recording, I think that global is even is still under maintenance trying to uh, do the upgrades. And that's, you know, JP didn't get its upgrades till, or didn't get its change to Lucia. I, I mean, I downloaded the update at 5 p.m. Japanese Standard Time, which is pretty late for globalers already. So yeah, global maintenance being extended, it should not be really too much of a surprise. But hey, we're going to finally say whether we like this unit or not. And that is something worth talking about. And my final review of Halloween Lucia was pretty dang good beforehand from a JP perspective. And in kind of insane now from a JP perspective as well. I mean, the so we've I've seen a bunch of different matchups with this character over the last 24 um, hours. Her against wind, her against lightning, her against water. And the thing is, just like Preen, who came before her, shortly before her, she has good matchups and bad matchups. One of the things is that she is really good against other physical units. And I think when we're talking just about how good potentially she will be against other units in the future, uh, we really, really, really got to talk about the fact that Halloween Lucia, despite how good she will be, uh, does have her fairy, her own bad matchups. And with Global, I mean, it looks to be that the weapon is just not there. And that is a big component of how strong she can be, along with the brand new vision card, too. All of this basically weeds together a amazing tapestry for saying how good or bad. But a lot of people have picked up that she does have some really good matchups. And I think that is absolutely true. She does have some where she will win. She will win particularly very hard. And the thing is, no matter what we have to say, good or bad about her tonight, uh, the fact that she can just... Um, like, she's always going to be a 70 cost character is very, very valuable and has some flexibility even to where she is built now. And there, there's just a lot of ands to this statement to basically sum up the fact that I think she will be very good and very good for a long time to come. And you know what? Themed magical units seem to be the way to go. But yeah, taking a look, uh, this is the friend unit build. We will just take a peek here. Uh, with the current build, I mean, I tried to keep it about as even as I possibly could uh, with uh, TMRs and equipment and whatnot. But, you know, to a certain extent, that's never going to be the situation that you're up against. Sometimes you're just going to be up against people with better equipment than you or different equipment. So, yeah, uh, that's basically where I'm taking it. So let's take a look here. Hitting the limit burst against all three of our water characters here, you can see just how much damage we are doing. Uh, roughly about, like, it goes through Runic on Celeste, which is a big deal. Any That's something that we're always effectively looking for, but even against Astrius, very capable of dishing out a good amount of damage, and her own defense capabilities keep her fairly safe from physical counterattacks. Not so much from magical, but let's focus on her strengths. Now, looking at some other abilities here, this one is reflectable. Uh, as you can see, it will not hit Astria, so we're not going to consider that. Let's take a look at some other abilities here. Also absorbed, but can do damage. This is her basic attack, doing about 4,000 points of damage against Astria, which is a pretty good amount still. Now, here's the interesting part. Now, this ability has been changed currently on JP. Uh, so Misery Toad, this was the ability that kind of needed to be changed 
because of the way that the prediction works and um, as it's been pointed out, um, manual play is affected, but I think now with the ability change, it also potentially affect how uh, things do play out anyway when it's not being controlled. But as you can see, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty strong ability just on its own. Like here, we're getting a 48% chance to toad her, but we're still dealing damage. It's not reflectable and it's a pretty hefty amount of damage too. I mean, it's great against evasion now because it is sure hit, but we can get an idea for what this ability has been changed to uh, from just being able to hit certain people, even if we're hitting against other units, like such as a dark character here with 97 faith. Uh, you can get an idea for what it's like with that high of faith and with not that high of faith. So the ability has been changed. It is dealing still a considerable amount of damage. Whether or not it is actually more powerful than it was previously, this I'm not 100% sure on because um, the way Toad as a status effect works, I don't have a terribly high amount of experience with it because not many characters have Toad. And I dare you to name seven characters that have the toad spell no nah, i'm just kidding don't do that but toad has not been incredibly meta because it hasn't been on characters that are very meta so for this character to now come out and have a potential it does change uh, the way that we may view status effects and status effect resistance as currently on jp at the time of this recording there is not so you can see that into probably what i would say is one of her worst matchups just for the general point of being like well runic right runic can deal with a lot of magic spells here yes uh celeste is still capable of absorbing quite a few of her abilities and if we're just looking at what she's capable of doing against some of the other units not sure if i'll be able to move quite far enough without <laughs> now nah, celeste is just doing her job too well uh, Misery Toad just being quite possibly one of the stronger ones. But okay, we've taken a long look at her abilities, which ones can be runic, which ones cannot. Uh, Misery Toad will be one of the, your probably deciding factors of whether or not you're getting this character. Because HP and survival wise, I mean, you could be running something, a TMR that ups her survivability, but is that necessarily better? Uh, it definitely is in terms of arena. Thankfully, we can make a firm judgment that our own TMR is just for PvE stuff, such as guild uh, raid. So if you're a PvE fan, her TMR is definitely look juicy, but not necessarily 100% worth the investment. So let's run her blue shield, get a little bit of the power up going on, and then we're just going to try and smack her around with different characters just to see how and if anything has really really changed so asterisk limit burst very very strong and as you can see even with her high defense even with the amount of damage she can potentially um resist it is higher than someone like fina but the question of survivability is really important whether or not you can get and this also illustrates just how much difference of a damage that we're getting here against a very, very strong Astrius. Uh, it's an insta-kill versus Majin Fina. It's not against her. So her defense is doing a fair amount of work. And once she has something like uh, Dark Remove, for example, might even just be a little bit stronger since Dark Remove does have some pretty good resistances in his um, pretty good resistance as well with him. So let's try some other characters. Uh, if she was up against other dark and this is the di this is where the bad matchups come in he just as we said doesn't have good matchups into magic we can get an idea there, there skip to the next character again much more durable than another mage feels like a actual upgrade to Golbez overall just because of additional speed uh, some abilities that are particularly 
feel more unique than what we've had. Just taking a look. How she can dish her survive against Preen. Interestingly, though, one of uh, the current matchups that I saw that uh, she had a particularly hard time with was against water. So this is uh, why I chose this element for this video. But yeah, you can see different damage numbers being parceled out here as to how they will exactly stack up. With magic damage being a much bigger threat. Feeling a little bit like she could have some problems, but I think if you're running Thief Lore, which ups her mobility and agility, you should be generally pretty good. But EX is 100% recommended. So do I think that this is a character that just anybody could run or that she replaces Black Witch Helena as like just one of those, car uh, you know, you're starting an account and this is a character you need to get? I, I don't think so. Because despite how good she is for a 70 cost unit, uh, there are still glaring problems um, with just how potentially likely she is to survive. I mean, she has some tools that if she does survive and in the right matchups and versus the right enemies, she'll definitely come out on top. So if you're looking for a, you know, a sure thing, I think you'll be quite happy in that respect. Like here you can see um, against range, she doesn't have really good ways yet of getting in super close, but she is capable of keeping herself alive for a good amount of turns while getting closer and boosting other enemies. Now, this is the one other thing I want to do show off. I do want to show off is uh, the bar HP barrier again, because the HP barrier is pretty big against physical units. Like we just use Preen here. You can see that we just didn't do any damage. And that is pretty big. Uh, that HP barrier is substantial enough uh, to get through uh, to survive against quite a few extra attacks. So it is one of the abilities that you are generally going to have to use. But does not work against magic and can be dispelled. So all of those things are very important to consider. So yeah, I mean, I like her. I'll, I'll say this much I, and just stick it on auto while I give my closing thoughts. Is this an absolutely mandatory character? No, uh, we've seen characters that are much stronger than this and do exist already in the game that are stronger than what we have seen. I think with the change uh, to one of Lu Lucia's key abilities is fairly important. I mean, getting rid of counter now, dealing an extremely high mod, it's gone up to 250%, 100% hit accuracy, and it's dealing toad after the hit uh, is big. It is powerful. And it is very strong. Her AoE that can uh, decrease defense penetration is also very strong. It's, it's just very, very key matchups, but I think... It, I would really recommend this character if you want more sure matchups. Which matchups and which team compositions will be certain wins? Well, that's going to take some more testing and figuring out to see where it is. But she is pretty damn amazing for a 70 cost unit. And I think people that do fully invest on her, and that's the thing, do you do want to get her to 120 before Halloween disappears just to make your life way better? But, you know, with various pieces of components i mean she's she is a 70 cost unit that is better than some 90s and i would dare say even yeah no even some uh, especially the older 100s but yeah um so yeah strong recommendation for her and if you want to know uh, just how strong of a recommendation i have for getting this character well we'll just wait for the game to load That's how strongly I recommend her. 
And before you say anything, before you say Umbro, why didn't you say for anniversary? Uh, getting this as well was a added bonus that uh, surely made me think that I was on the right path. But yeah, um, I, 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 I recommend Lucia, not a must pull, but a very, very, very strong character. And probably, I don't know, if I was to give her a letter grade, I don't know if I'm actually going to continue doing this in my videos, but A plus or... No, no, that's too high. Um, I guess S would be my highest. Uh, no, I'll give her, I'll give her an A, a solid A, because her matchups where she's really good, she'll be really good, and everything else, she'll probably just be okay. So yeah, with changes, probably an overall improvement to her, uh, but in a different timeline where they didn't change anything i wonder what that would have been what that would have made the meta look like i guess anyway thanks for watching see you later